Okay, today on the GY6 scooter, we're going to be removing the motor and we're going to be pulling off the top end to rebuild it. So first of all, to remove the motor, we're going to take the seat cowl off, we're going to take the back rack off, and this back plastic cowl to remove the motor. It's relatively simple. Open up the seat, remove the bolts here, to undo the rack, remove the bolts here, here, and then... Okay, in order to take the seat cowl out, I'm going to be removing these two front bolts and these two front bolts. They're 10 millimeter. And now I will just lift the seat cowl up and out like that. Now I will proceed to remove the handles and the rack using a number six Allen and a 10 millimeter. Okay, with a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, I'll just go ahead and remove these bolts. Okay, now that we have the rack off, we're going to remove the tail plastic. Okay, to remove the tail plastic, we're going to remove the first, the two 10 millimeter bolts under here, one up here, and the number, number fives on the Allen, or number five Allens on the sides. And unplug the key switch. I just disconnect it right here. remove it, I just kind of yank up on the front, like that, I slide it back and then unplug the wiring, which is right here. And that's how you remove the tail. Okay, first of all, I'm going to remove the air box. There will be an 8 millimeter bolt under here and an 8 millimeter bolt under there. I will remove them with my socket and then a flat nose screwdriver to remove the clamp up here on the carburetor. And that's it. Okay, now I will proceed to pull the air box out. Okay, now I will unplug all the wiring and disconnect the throttle cable. And I will disconnect the starter wire from up here from the starter solenoid with a 10 millimeter wrench. Okay, now since I have my wiring undone, I will go ahead and proceed to pull the carburetor off and unplug the coil wire to the spark plug. Okay, now I will remove the brake cable, which is a 14 millimeter, but sometimes you can just undo it by hand, which in this case you can. And once I take it apart, I put it back together like this so I don't lose none of the parts, the important parts. And now I will remove the 12 millimeter bolt out of the shock. Okay. And now I will remove the 12 millimeter bolt out of the motor. This side's 12 okay. and this side's with a, a 12 millimeter socket and my air gun, I will put it on this side of the motor mount bolt and with a 14 millimeter open end wrench, I will put it over here. And then I will remove it. Okay, now I will gently so ever just knock the motor mount bolt out with a bar. Okay, now since the motor is completely disattached, I can completely roll it out. 